There was someone who came into my live yesterday that wanted to argue with me about Ben Shapiro because they were claiming that he was really smart and made a lot of good points. Listen to this brilliant point that he had about unions being bad. So here was Joe Biden rallying with Kamala Harris yesterday saying everyone does better with more unions. I mean, if that were true, then there'd be more than 7% of the workforce currently unionized in the private sector. It is eminently untrue. In fact, everyone does significantly worse. Not just untrue, eminently untrue. So he goes on to say, ask any business owner how they feel about unions. Right, 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 right. Because where we're going to get the best information about whether or not unions are good is from corporations and business owners. And he actually really said, um, actually, if unions were so great, then like, how come there's only 7% of people that are unionized? <laughs> yeah. Couldn't possibly be because of right to work laws that made it really difficult for people to unionize in this country that were passed all across the states. It couldn't be because of decades and decades of union busting. It couldn't be because of the billions of dollars that corporations put into their companies every single year to try to ensure that people cannot unionize. Couldn't be any of that it's proof positive that they're bad because the war on unions over the last 40 years since the fucking reagan administration has worked i am ben shapiro and i am very intelligent but this is also the same guy that in the same breath makes the argument that corporate price gouging is simultaneously not real and also democrats fault the monopolistic companies price gouging people and that's why the price of going up is insane first of all price gouging in general is almost always crap because the reality is that prices are determined by supply and demand i can't gouge you on price unless i'm the only supplier available in a really really wide radius no competition is available and you are willing to buy at the price that i set that is the only way i can quote unquote price gouge you but there's no actual definition for price gouging because it turns out that according to Democrats, price gouging is just prices they don't like. Ben Shapiro is a stupid person's idea of a smart person. None of that made any sense. He just talks really fast and says a lot of shit and just hopes that people won't notice. And that if he talks in a very authoritative tone, that people will be like, oh, he must know what he's talking about. He must know what he's talking about because he's rich. No, bro, the reason why he's rich is because he advocates for policies and positions that ensure that he stays rich at your expense. Also, I love that the right wing still is always pretending at this late date that we have a free market that like monopolies don't actually run anything are you kidding the reason why they hate lena khan over at the ftc so much is because she's actually been bringing antitrust suits because she knows and everyone else knows that we live in a monopolistic society in which the competition they're always talking about doesn't exist because every time a company tries to create competition, places like Amazon buy them out or crush them. I mean, please. But we can never have that conversation because too many people are so busy bootlicking the rich that they refuse to actually engage in the merits of the discussion. All you have to do to turn one of these simps brains completely off is to just call everything common communism like literally basically all they have to do and they do it all the time is call the current capitalist system that we're living under the late stage capitalist empire that we're living under they just call it communism and the brain goes off i saw this yesterday and i was like accurate